guys, it's me. I'm back again with another uh, requested video, which is awesome. I love doing requested videos. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, so if you're noticing that the bedroom looks a little bit more disheveled than it usually does, blame the dog. Nicholas. Nicholas. That's Nicholas. Nicholas likes to... Um, destroy everything. Don't you? It's a bad boy. So I had a requested video to do an updated what's in my bag. This is the coach bag that I got this summer in Kittery Outlets in um, Maine. Um, and I got it because it's just a nice, simple, classic shape, classic style. I think I can have that forever. But it's got these really nice really heavy duty kind of hardware on there so it looks it's um it's classic but it's not too dainty which I really really liked but the problem that I'm having is it's just it's not quite big enough to hold everything it's got the three compartments in it which I love um it's got you know pocket in the front pocket in the back which I really like the straps are a little bit too short to go like I can wear it like this but the bag sits a little bit high so I usually just carry it like in the crook of my arm like a like a handbag but it's really heavy so it's kind of a I mean I love it but it's just and I've tried to pare down what I have in here so that I'm not you know carrying so much stuff around but it's not working out very well okay so I'm just going to go through what's in here and I don't stock my bags like what is in here is what's in here. I don't put funny things in here for no reason. So if something weird pops out, it's legitimately in my bag. Uh, what else? It's also probably going to be boring. And um, ugh, the, subscri the subscriber that um, requested this video said, you know, it's been since December 2010 since I've done a video. So probably a lot's changed. Um, actually, probably not. I kind of put things into my purse and that's kind of where they go to die. So... Uh, you know, they just kind of sit there and I don't use them a lot, so why do I carry them around? I don't know. But anyway, let's get on with it. Heesh. So this is a really great bag. I'm not exactly sure the style name, but if I can find out the style name, I'll put it in uh, the description box. So I'm going to start in this front pouch here. And in here, all that's in here is my work ID. So this was what I look like. Um, hold on. So this is what I look like 10 years ago. Yay. Um, yeah, maybe I should get my photo updated. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so that's all that I have in that front pouch, but I usually carry my keys in there, but right now they're downstairs in the key bowl. So in the front pouch, we have no cell phone because my cell phone got stolen. I still haven't gotten a new one. I'm waiting for my husband to buy me one, but he's not taking the hint. Um, Advil, because I always have headaches. A battery for my um, Sony CyberCam, just my little hand cam that I take photos with. Uh, I've got passports because we're going shopping in the States tomorrow. Very excited. Haven't been over since the summertime. Uh, I've got a nice little brush. This one I bought in Target the last time I was in the States. Yes. And if you're new, or if you're a new subscriber and you're wondering, is she from the States or is she from Canada? I'm from Canada, but I live very close to um, the New York border, so we go to New York State a lot. But I'm east, so we don't go to Buffalo. We go to, like, Watertown, Syracuse area. Okay, so brush. And this is new. I got a new curse purse. Um, basically, a curse purse is where you put all your pads. But I think it's nice to have something pretty to take with you to the bathroom instead of just carrying a tampon in your hand. Um, so I try to get little makeup cases. This one I got as, I think this was a Clinique gift with purchase or a Lancome gift with purchase. It's a really cute makeup bag, actually. It's got, like, little ruffles. It's a little bit, for a curse purse, I actually prefer them when they're, like, flat because they don't take up as much room. But this one's kind of cute. And I'm going to show you what's inside my curse purse. Why not? Because I love these things. I use the U by Kotex because I don't care. I like the pretty colors. So, anyway, yeah. And hand 
hand sanitizer. Okay. Okay. Next, I've got not one, but two Herbison Camille hand creams because they were buy one, get one 50% off at the drugstore. And I was so amazed that my drugstore had a buy one, get one 50% off sale because that's like virtually unheard of here in Canada. So I picked up the hand cream with glycerin and this is the hand cream. Oh, it's the same thing. Just one's in a little pot like this and one's in a tube. So I'm going to actually leave one here and then keep this in my purse. Okay, then I've got a little moleskin notebook. My husband buys me these in like sets of two or three every Christmas. And inside here is the list of everything that I'm going to buy when I'm in the States. And I thought it would be cool to show you this to show you exactly how anally retentive I am. Because not only do I write a list once, but I'll rewrite it like three times, like just to make sure that I get everything in the right order and I got all the stores that I want to go to in the right order and I got everything written down and I didn't forget anything. So uh, I've got quite a long list of stuff to buy. But these little notebooks are great and I, I like these because they're flat so they don't take up a lot of room in my purse. And that's all there is in that. Then in the middle, the zipper part. I have a dog muzzle that I have to return to the store because it's too big. The smallest size is too small. The next size up is too big. I have a receipt for another muzzle that I have to return because it was too big. It's got a very weird size snout. Um, I have a $25 gift card for the keg. Date night, and I think that's it. Oh, and then I have my Kenneth Cole wallet, and I love this because it's a wrapper, a zip around, and it's got like a zipper part in the middle for my change, and then I like to just be able to shove things in and not have to put everything in little pockets, so I've got everything in there like that. And this is real leather, and I paid $20 for it, so score. And that's all there is in that part. And then in the final part, oh, 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 I have, ooh, JCPenney cash for JCPenney this weekend. I have my Tiffany silver polishing cloth because um, somebody at work has the same uh, bracelet that I have and hers was tarnished, so I brought in my cloth. And I always carry deodorant in my purse in case you forget or in case it's extra hot and you need to reapply. Um, I've got some, I've started carrying around my John Frieda secret weapon because this is the flawless finishing cream. Instantly camouflages imperfections, leaves dull, dry hair, shiny, soft, and supple use anywhere, anytime. So I find sometimes in the middle of the day, like if it's humid, sometimes my hair goes really puffy. So I think it's a good idea to have that with me. I have an EOS lip balm. Now, this one's not my favorite. This one's melon, I think. Yeah, this one's melon, and it's really nice. But my favorite was the lemon one because it had an SPF of 15, and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where it's gone. So, And it is the time of year for chapped lips, so I'm not... Mm. Then I've got a little pocket here with a pen... A nail file, um, a Laura Ashley tape measure, because I think it's always handy to have one of those in your purse. Another little doohickey, some cough drops, and two really random items. I have iPod headphones, but no iPod, and um, a camera case with no camera in it, and another pen. What else? And so I just put everything back in there. Totally random, totally useless, but whatever. Okay, now this is the thing that I want to clean out. So the very last thing, and there's nothing in the pocket in the back. The very last thing I have in here is a little, um, oh, wait, no. I lied. There's more in here. There's another nail file and some nail polish that I just bought. We didn't ask for a bag. So this is 
Get Ready from Revlon, and I'm wearing it today. It's a really nice, it's a really Christmassy red. It's like a really bright red with gold in it. So it's just very much like evening. That's an evening red to me. Very party time. Um, um. And another nail polish that I just bought, same time, was the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro in Gold Silk. And it's a metallic gold. Uh, it's very, 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 very pale on me, though, so it ends up kind of just looking like a glossy nail. It's the same color as my hands, so I have not yet passed judgment on that. I don't know why I have two nail files. Oh, I have a bobby pin. You never know when you need one of those. You know, in case you want to, like, break an inner or something. Uh, then lastly, I have a makeup bag, and this is a snake print leopard, or snake print leopard bag. A snake print makeup bag that I got from H&M for $5, and I love this one because it's a really nice big size, but it, it's narrow, so it's not like it's a big foldy outy one that takes up a lot of room. Everything is still fairly narrow in here. So what I have in here is, and this will be amusing because I always have so many lipsticks, Mm. All right, so I have. Uh, hello, let's see what it's our Julia's makeup bag. In case you want to put your hair up, I have a hair spray. Trust me, love this stuff. Then I have, for some odd reason, an off anti bug spray. Don't know why that's in there. I have. Um, when I went to my best friend's house, like, I go through her makeup and I steal everything that, um, you know, like, or she gives me stuff that she doesn't want anymore. So, I've got this Anna Sui blush, and this one is in, uh, number 600. It doesn't give it a name. Then I have an Anna Sui lipstick, or Anna Sui, whatever, Lip Rouge G in number 700. And it is, first of all, the packaging is really cool. Like, it's got roses on it, but it kind of looks like a totem pole when you look at it from, you know, it's like, oh, look, a totem pole. But it, it's a nude color, and it's very much like Revlon Soft Nude, but this one's really, really creamy, and it ha it smells like roses, so I really like this. I stole that one for my friend, too. I don't care. Give me your lipstick. Then, the lipstick does not end there, people. I have an Essence lipstick in creamy nude number 50 and I'm going to tell you guys if you've got like lips that are a little bit colored like mine this is an amazing nude I love this nude it's kind of got um, a hint of mauve in it and it's just gorgeous and it I, I love this lipstick it's probably one of my favorite lipsticks so that's the essence unfortunately you can only get it at Ulta in the states creamy nude so I would try that the lipsticks do not end there. I have, um, this has been in my purse forever. This is number 200 Latino from Rimmel. And it's just a really fun, bright pink that works really well with my skin tone and just brightens up my whole complexion and makes me happy when I wear it. So I like to have that around a lot. Um, I have an e.l.f. liquid lipstick in Bark. This is probably one of my favorite um, nude colors. Then I have another Revlon lipstick in Cherry Ice, and I bought this for my friend, and she didn't like it, but I love it because it's a beautiful, look at the brightness on that. It matches my nail polish really well. Looking forward to wearing that this holiday season. Then um, I have Pink Sugar from Revlon. So what happens is I just put, and it's like a nude with, it's got like some sparkle in it very very pale on but it's got a little shimmer I just I put my lipstick on and then I take it in my purse and then some days I'll put it on like I'll be reapplying my lipstick like every 10 minutes and other days I just I don't know why I even bother to put it in my purse but I do so I end up with so many lip products in my purse that I have to clean out I've got a MAC glaze in courting lilac which I bought last year from the um, tartan tail collection and it's a purple color with some gold in it. And there's a comb. Woo! There's a comb because you never know when you're going to need to tease your hair on the run. And I have a small Viva La Juicy perfume. I have a small mirror. 
And I have more lipsticks. So I have MAC Angel, which is just a nice mauve. I love this lipstick. I, I, you know, I just keep going back to it again and again and again. I just really love it. It's probably one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. And I have yet another Revlon. This is Revlon Petal. This was my favorite lipstick of the summer. It's just a really pretty kind of pinky nude color. I have a Clinique Chubby Stick in Strawberry, Super Strawberry. These are actually really nice because they're kind of like a lip balm, but I'm hoping, and they got a little bit of color, I'm hoping to get my hands on the Revlon uh, Lip Butters tomorrow, so fingers crossed. And then the very last thing I have is a little uh, lip, Mentha Lip Tint from... C.O. Bigelow from Bath and Body Works. And that's all I have. So I wanted to tell you, I've got one, if you count the lip glosses and the lip balms, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lip products in my purse. It's a sickness, I know. And that's all that's in my purse. So thank you for watching, guys. And again, if you have any requests, just let me know. And I'll try to get to them. I probably usually do, so just put it down there. Okay, thanks guys. Bye!